Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. Uh, we had quite the episode last last time. We found a whole bunch of circuits, got some upgraded parts. I've got so much stuff in the station upgraded to tier four. I did check out the the power supply uh, with the resource injector instead of using two point five he helium an hour. It's using one an hour, so that is really good. Uh, I was doing some uh, recycling, trying to get uh, another full warp cell, because today I want to go head back out to Aerodil and Athnar and try to find another find another mule. Uh, I learned a few things about this thing. One, if it's actually full, uh, and I'll put this in here for now, it says cargo full. So that's actually something I did not notice. Uh, another thing I didn't know, and this is actually quite interesting, and some of you probably already know what's going to happen. I'm going to empty out the fabricator so I have some room. Apparently, grenades blow up when you recycle them. Doesn't seem to affect the fabrication module, but still pretty cool. Anyways, uh, I do have a, a second tier uh, full warp cell ready to go. Uh, like I said, I got this, everything set up on the ship. Uh, since we were around, I was around for a few hours last time, hoping that there's going to be some fresh spawns around those locations. So I'm going to suit up, head back to the ship, and I guess I'll take you at the first stop, whichever planet's going to be closer. Okay, we should be coming out of warp here soon. I decided to go to Athnar. For some reason, it was costing the same amount to go to Athnar as Airedale, so decided to go to Athnar. Uh, for some reason, I remember changing these filters out, and they're dead. I could have sworn I had like 80% in there or something, so that's something I'll have to take care of once we get back to the station. But needless to say, today we're after a mule. I do have three uh, three hacking tools. I got a an AMP just in case. Should be there pretty quick, and hopefully we find something because it's been. I've been on a few hours since the last time we came out, so hopefully some stuff has blown up and some new stuff has spawned. So let's see what we have. I'm also having one of those moments where I'm wondering if I'm going to have enough <laughs> work fuel to get home. Alright, here we are. I'm do a quick save. And let's do a scan. See if we can find any ships. Bugged out. There we go. And no ships. None. Hmm. It's not showing the scan effect. Well, let's uh let's move to orbit. I'll head over here. Why is it not showing me there? Early access, gotta love it. So I'm gonna quickly jump over there and we'll see what we have. And here we are. So now, let's see what we find on this side of the planet. Can't tell if it's scanning or not. Try it again. And it looks like I'm not gonna have any luck here unless I decide to camp out here for half a day. So I think we're gonna have to head back Head over to Aerodil. Aerodil's not too far away. Hopefully. Med custom orbit. I might even try to get the twenty percent on this. I had to actually use the the hundred to get out here. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I can do the twenty eight. Awesome. Anyway, I'll meet you there. And here is Aerodil. So, let's see what we can find around here today. It is scanning, even though it's not showing the scanning effects. Crew quarter, derelicts. LSM. Doesn't seem to be too much interesting around here. I don't think this is where we're supposed to be. We're actually supposed to be at Cinna and Arlen. Alright, we are... Where are we? Okay, we're up there. So we'll go down here. We'll make a... 
Yeah, we'll just make a tight orbit. Why not? Stay inside the field. All right, stage three, please. Got so much power, don't even know what to do with it all. Give myself a little bit extra time there. And I moved up there. Should be pretty easy to see. Just look for look for Arlen, and we'll be able to jump there. Okay, this shouldn't take long. Probably twenty seconds, and hopefully we find a ship. Show me a mule. Yeah, it's not doing the scan effects. I don't know why. It's definitely scanning though. Uh, command module, command module, command module, command module. And these are all still the same command modules that were here. Well, these are new spawns here, but I don't really care. Well, this is. Arlen, so let's go to Cinna. See what we can find over here. And what I'll do is I'll do a cut here and I'll bring you back once once I'm here. So let's see what we can find. And hopefully I find something. It's my second time out here looking for a ship. And I don't see a ship. I see a the same old original spawns as before. Hmm. Methinks I have to go AFK for a while. Or we blow stuff up. One of the two. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the game run for a little bit here. Maybe half an hour or so. And then uh, do another scan and see what we got. Well, after doing a little bit of searching on the forums. Trying to figure out what's going on with this ship. Uh, apparently there's four places that actually spawns. One is Athnar, which is where I'm at. Uh, then there's Arlen and Cinna around Eredil. And then there's Aya. Way, way, way out there. That's probably it over there. No, it's probably not. That's probably Eredil. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, just like a hour spawn time. They spawn. And they're on a doomed orbit, a declining orbit, so they're going to actually hit the planet, and you have about half an hour to save them. Uh, the drawback to them is they are completely stripped clean. There's nothing left of them. And so basically we got to rebuild the life support, rebuild the reactor, uh, and everything. Uh, I have been jumping around, and I had just found one. And the best thing about uh, this offline single player is uh, just do a quick save, jump out, and stays where it is. So it is up here somewhere. There it is right there. And as you can see, it's actually going to hit the planet. Now it's at right at the highest point. So I don't know how much time I have to get there, but we're going to go in, we're going to go in hot, going to do any repairs I can, and I'm going to get this to a stable orbit. Uh, the best thing is to, if anything goes wrong, I do have a save file and go from there. Uh, also, about these uh, game crashes and freeze ups I've been having, apparently it's got something to do with OBS. And uh, it was, I, I don't know what it is actually, but I was on here for about two hours trying to get, trying to find this ship, and I didn't have OBS running, and I had no problems, but it seems like every time I have video, OBS running, that's where I start getting like crashed video driver or something where I get a black screen and I have to restart my computer. But anyways, let's get in here and check this thing out. I gotta park to it quickly, get out, do uh, any repairs I can. And there she is. So I have no idea what's gonna happen here. I'm starting to get that feeling that, that I had at the auxiliary, of, auxiliary storage there. All right, we can park to it. No, we can't. Yes, we can, all right. Helmet on. That's something I gotta remember about the Eve suit too. I don't actually t flip up the visor. I take my helmet off. All right, let's get out here. Uh, let's uh, good. Got the welder. 
Don't worry, mule. I'm a coming. I'm gonna come save you. We're crashing the planet trying. One of the two. But apparently the one out of the eye is really hard to get to because they said three minutes outside of eye, your solar panel stopped working. So you're in on capacitor alone. Uh, fortunately, I've got tier fours. So if I really want to attempt it, I can. But I don't care. First, 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 before anything. Uh, yes, they put a grapple on it. They did do some changes, but I want to make sure there's no turret in here. Chances are there isn't. Like if it doesn't even have a reactor or catalyst. There's a cargo bay. Oh, my baby. Uh, that's the warp drive. Let's turn my light off so I can actually see. Okay, no movement. Good. That's the wrong button. Alright, let's do some quick repairs here. Whatever I can get. Oh, I missed you. Uh, but yeah, they took the grapple off. Is there nothing outside I can repair? Oh, there's, I do see something down here. Just so I can get into a higher orbit. You know, I don't know what the actual state of this is. It doesn't look too bad, to be honest. But anything I can do is better than nothing. Come on, you stupid welder. Alright, just quick, quickly patch this up. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say there's gonna be absolutely nothing inside in the cargo bay. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Let's just go ahead and find the tug and we'll drag this beast home. Fortunately, I have one full warp cell. Uh, one thing I noticed too with this tier four, uh, yeah, this tier four detonator. Yeah, uh, I've been jumping around this planet so many times, and I don't think I've actually used any of my warp cell. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a couple of percent. That was about it. Okay, and pressurize. Be nice to have a like a notification that the door is actually locked and closed. And let's go in and dock to our new ship. I'm wondering what they've done with the cargo bay. It's like every time they've changed it, do they put more shelves in there? Do they take shelves out? I have no idea. But. Where do I anchor? That's the question. Anchor right to the anchor. I don't know if that sounds uh, YouTube friendly. Uh, Alright, uh, let's see here. I'm actually curious to see where the orbit is by the time I get this docked and out of here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Sun's in my eyes. I'm sure I got plenty of time. Okay, we're almost there. Watch it blow up as soon as I connect to it. I've actually read some stories on the forums about people trying to save these ships. Where am I here? so hard to figure out your alignment sometimes. I know you can go by the rings, but when you're this far out, you don't really see them too well. And I think that should be good. All right, let's go in. Let's go in and grab this thing and then get to a stable orbit. And as soon as everything's going okay, that's what I'll do. I'll bring you back when we're somewhere safe. Okay, I'm in a nice high orbit here. Uh, one thing I did notice too when I was at the nav map, I wanted to see, check the station. <laughs> Uh, apparently we had an encounter with Burner here. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. This may move the station at some point in time, but we seem to be okay. I don't know if that's just coming or just going. I think it's just coming. I hope it's not a collision course. <laughs> uh, I guess we're going to find out. I hope that's just a bug. I noticed that yesterday too. But it keeps us in the system at least. 
But anyways, uh, let's go and uh, see how bad the damage is on this thing. Oh, I uh, better grab a hacking tool or two, just in case. Oh, yeah, I figured we had about I had about ten minutes left before that thing crashed. Take that and that, and I need two of them: one for the airlock, one for the bridge. And let's go see what we have. We have plenty of time. It looked like it did have the three warp cell slots, which is pretty good. Best thing about it, though, is it has a reactor, so you're not relying on solar power. Okay, let's see what you have. Hello. I got a mule stuck to my foot. Let's get some light here. Let's go in, let's get it all fixed up. And see how bad the damage is. Oh wow, I'm gonna have to grab this while I'm here. Make sure it's not in the way of the solar panel when it comes out. I haven't had an issue with that yet, but you never know. Okay. This is just to uh, bring its overall health down, or up, I should say. It actually looks like it's depressurized. Pressurized. Really? You figure this would have been suffering a hull breach or something. Well, at least this is faster. All right, let's see what we have. Hopefully there's no, <laughs> hopefully there's no turret. Would have seen it by now. Okay, that right, should be over there. There is one. No turret. Where is the turret stand? Oh, it's right here. That would have been shot dead. Alright, so I gotta do a little bit of repairing here. Uh, a lot of repairing, actually. I'm actually curious to see what the capacity on this thing is. Unauthorized access. Yeah, oh, that will be dealt with in a moment. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm, uh, it's red now. Where is that panel? Uh, oh, there it is. It's mine. And, of course, we're going to name it the mule. Alright. Maybe they turn the light off. So I don't need it. Probably don't need the life support. Let's check this out. So it's an output of 750 with just basics. It's one capacitor. That's not too bad. It's got a life support system too. Uh, let's go check out the cargo bay. Uh, that was odd. Does this mean I need to fix it? <laughs> Is it broken? I have no idea. Anyway, I'm gonna bring this thing back home, see what I can do to it, and bring you back when I have something to show for my efforts. Okay, I got it all fixed up. There's a 9% somewhere, I have no idea where it is. I've checked the cargo bay, I've checked the bridge, the warp drive room. Oh, there it is, right there. Uh, wasn't, didn't, didn't go away empty handed. We got more than just a ship out of this one. I actually found one of the broadswords in there. I'll have to check it out. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to fix up what this little patch here. And then I'm going to anchor anchor the stereopes on top of the cargo bay. And then I'm going to dock this right to the airlock. That way I can just pressurize the whole system. 
because it didn't quite have enough to pressurize everything, so I had to depressurize the whole whole ship so I can get into the get into the cargo bay. And I don't really trust that airlock too much or the elevator. But when has that elevator ever been friendly? But anyways, uh, yeah, let me get everything in the rightful place, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I am docking the mule right now. I don't know why it says low RCS fuel when there's still 200 units in there. Does not make sense. That's a nice view. Very nice view. Perfect. Awesome. Where's the airlock? Oh, the airlock's up there. I was a little worried I wasn't going to have enough room for my uh, crew quarter. Or, because I have my crew quarter there. Alright, so let's go ahead and start deep repressurizing this thing. Where are you? Where's the mule? Right at the bottom of the list. Yeah, that's right. And I'm like, wait a minute, I got that open, I, I forgot to close it on, and I realized I'm docked to the station right now. So I'm pressurized in that airlock and pressurized in the ship at the same time. So that's cool. This is what I found. I've never actually seen one of these before. I've heard of them. But thankfully, it's not charged. So I can't do any damage to my ship. And I did find a fire extinguisher downstairs, but whatever. Fire extinguisher. Oh, good, I did get it to 100%. I was trying to find that one last little spot. But we are doing good. So I think next episode we're going to work on getting this thing all worked up to Tier 4. I do have some things, like I got, uh, still got a Tier 2 capacitor. I think I got some servos somewhere, or catalysts, and a resource injector. This thing is extremely expensive on the fuel. So, yeah, that's uh, not a good thing. Let's actually get those solar panels out while we're at it. Add to the demand. And, yeah, the, that's, I think, is going to be it for this one. I'm just waiting for this to pressurize and get the video up. So, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.